Hey there, soul shines. It's Michelle here, and I'm inviting you to wake up and live. Um, so I actually have a few video ideas, so I'll probably shoot them one after another. So today I want to talk about our values because as I was working with my friend, um, we were trying to work on some of my anxieties and fears about getting a job. <sighs> And she's like, I feel like it has more to do with your values than some of the other things going on. So we talked about my values and I still don't quite have the right word for it, but it's something very, very important to me. And it's something that you'll hear me talk about. Um, and that's the kind of the you do you kind of thing. It's that intrinsic nature that we all have. Um, how some people organize um, in a way where they can see their stuff and other people want visual simplicity. So it's like, if I have something out on my counters, I want it to be decorative. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean my home allows for that, but that's what I would like. <laughs> um, and, you know, some people it's like toss it in a bin. Some people it's like fold it. Um, some people like to write lists. Some people can't work off lists. Just a lot of different stuff like that. Um, I think that we are all so unique, yet we can also learn from systems that have, um, you know, like the Clutterbug system has four organizing styles. Dressing Your Truth has four um, energy profile styles. And even if you don't believe in or understand the, or, you know, agree with the, the clothing aspect of dressing your truth, the energy profiling aspect is very in, um, informative and helps you kind of understand some approach to the world. Um, the Myers and Briggs stuff, um, if you study Jungian function, you can understand some of the approach to the world and why um, you know, some people make their decisions based off logic. Some people make them based off their emotions and values, more specifically values. Some people um, take in the information from around them, like the way they perceive the world is dominantly physical. So they have to feel it, see it, touch it, um, smell it, taste it. Like it has to be, uh, it's very physical, um, often very present, um, and then others of us are like kind of metaphysical and it's highly intuitive and it's um, kind of sixth sense the way that we take in our information. And knowing those things is super helpful to me. And I have high value in that. Like I very much think that it's about finding systems that work with you and not against you. It's... Um, you know, like I was really struggling with aspects of the fly lady system and I'll be telling you about this box in one of my videos and how it's made a huge difference for me. And I'll be talking about why and why I think that the fly lady system, some of the ways that she does things is perfect. Okay. So my little brain thing here is really bugging me. Like I don't quite, it's like a, is that called a lace braid? But it's got this one spot that pokes out. Oh, so sorry for that sidetracked moment. Um, so one of my strongest values is this um, need to do things that are aligned with our truth. And I'm still looking for the actual word or two words that embodies that because to me, like intrinsic essence, that's good. It's, I like the word intrinsic because, you know, that's like kind of your core design, but it's just not, there's just things that aren't quite right about it. Um, that don't really embrace the concept of, it's about knowing your unique individuality and how you function in the world and working with that instead of against it. Um, one of my challenges with getting a job is, I hope you can hear this. I just realized I might be covering a microphone. Um, and I had an alarm go out. That was awesome. Uh, so one of the problems with getting a job is jobs are not designed 
in a way that recognizes everybody's individual truths. Um, you go into a job and whether you're a right fit for the position or not, you have to do it the way that they tell you. And that really creates a lot of anxiety for me because that's one of my core values. And it's been really interesting being aware of this. I mean, like I could technically use that to help me find a job that would align with my values, but I find that that's going to take a miracle. And I would rather, um, find a way to make my business work. <sighs> and the, tr and actually the struggles with that is things that are aligned with my values. Like I feel like in order to really make my business work or even make YouTube work or whatever, I have to do things in a way that are not aligned with me. There are ways that, um, I, they don't come naturally to me and then not necessarily things that I want to develop in my nature. Um, like self-actualization, that's kind of cool. Self-actualization is first you become very aware of yourself and then you pick the areas that you want to expand and embrace some of the other um, the other aspects. So maybe I'll look more into that work because that might be a part of what it is. Um, the, the, the concept that I value so much. And here I am possibly covering the microphone again. So um, I think it's highly important to find our values. I know that one of the things that I'm super struggling um, with my son that has left my religious beliefs because on the one hand, I have this, you do you, totally as one of my highest values. And that applies to my children making their own choices and living their lives aligned with who they really are. Um, and that's also at fault or like kind of in conflict with some of my other values, which are about um, family. Um, and my, my personal definition of what family really is. His choices takes him out of my definition and that's a real big struggle for me. So it's really interesting to think about our our conflicts in our lives and how they are aligned or dis or disaligned, not aligned, with our values. And that's been such a powerful thing for me to look at the last couple of days. And really appreciate my friend for helping me look at that. And because the reality is, is that whenever I went with the idea of looking for a job, it feels like a part of me is going to die. And some of that is that I've had jobs that have been physically demanding on me. Um, some have been emotionally demanding on me. Some have taken me away from my family values. And so um, I watched my mom when, she, when I was in high school. She became suicidal. And that was because she was going to school and working multiple jobs. And it was just too much for her. Um, I already know that when I get in high stress situations, my adrenal fatigue sy symptoms go crazy and um, I do lose integral parts of me. I get such bad brain fog, I can't think straight. That is the scariest thing ever. The hype brings up emotions just thinking about it because that was the scariest time in my life when I couldn't even carry on a conversation because the brain... And, like, there was no connections in my brain. It was all disconnected, and I could hear people talk. And I'd be sitting there in my head going, I should know what you're saying, and I can't connect with it. And and I was learning sign language at the time, and it was really bad. And excuse me. I woke up with a little bit congested. And then getting emotional on top of it just made it really bad. Um, so... It's really interesting to think about my values because there is a, a like a kind of a feeling like my I will lose my identity if I go get a job. Um, so that's been really fascinating. Ugh, let me get sidetracked. I am so sidetracked today in this video. I'm so sorry. Um, so those are some things I think about your values and um. I could apply this to the home. I think that you guys are perfectly capable of applying it to the home. 
um, recognizing what your values are and how what's going on in your home either is aligned or unaligned with your home. And you probably can come up with other reasons and ways that this concept connects with your home. But really, I want it to connect with you and help you to just really recognize who you are and get to know your intrinsic values, like what really is important to you. My son is highly motivated by money. I am not. Money is one of those things required to survive in this world. And I am not motivated to get to, like, I'm not motivated to go out and get money. I get um, super anxious when I try to pay bills, but I'm not motivated in that way. Um, I would have to find a motivation that was aligned with my values. Like, how would getting a job help me to be more me? And how would it, getting a job help me to have that um, definition of family that I have? Those would be the kind of, those would be the things that I would get motivated by is finding those. So that's another way to use your values is to motivate you because you create a goal or a, maybe not a goal, but a vision that's aligned with your values and then you're more motivated to get it. Um, like seeking peace. That's one of my motivations. Um, if you're passionate, then you have to have, you know, that level of fun and passion in what you choose to do. If you're, um, you know, you, sometimes you have to have meaning in what you do. So if you're struggling with motivation, check out your values. Um, lots of interesting concepts here. This like, Really knowing your own values is really helpful um, to solve conflicts and to create motivation. So there you go. That's my message for today. Remember to let your light shine big, bright, light, and beautiful. And I will see you guys next time.